Greetings enthusiastic scientists. Welcome to the channel. It's Mr. Ace and thank you for joining. Remember to like, share, subscribe, keep it real. Today we're going to dive into the circulatory system. Part one, we're going to look at functions and components. So the function of your circulatory system is to circulate, hence the name, oxygen to the cells and the rest of the body and then circle the deoxygenated blood carbon dioxide back to the lungs right so that's the function of the circulatory system components there are three firstly we're going to look at blood vessels now blood vessels are literally the tubes the network that transports the blood and nutrients throughout the body so there are three main main categories of blood vessels the first one the thickest of them all is an artery arteries has to be thick because it needs to maintain the pressure of every time the heart pumps not to pop <laughs> when your heart leaves the blood leaves the heart so arteries are thick they always flow out of the heart right and then they are predominantly oxygen rich the second one is our veins right now veins are the opposite veins always flow into the heart doesn't need that amount of pressure and then they obviously carry most of the time deoxygenated blood right so the deoxygenated blood comes from the body into the heart right then the third one are capillaries now the capillaries are the link between arteries and veins so the arteries comes out then branches smaller carrying the oxygen rich blood and now that forms a capillary which is right next to the cell this oxygen then gets offloaded like a taxi into the cell carbon dioxide hops back on and now these capillaries continue moving onwards but branch back and that then forms the vein which then goes back into the back into the heart right so those are your three blood vessels then blood the second component is literally what it says it's blood so it contains out of two blood cells white blood cells which forms part of your immune system which attacks harmful bacteria red blood cells which are your oxygen surface right all the oxygens hop onto the red blood cell they are red because of the hemoglobin in them and they are responsible for taking the oxygen to the cells then the third thing in your blood is blood platelets those are the sticky gummy things that when you cut yourself and bleed they come out and seal the wound so they help to prevent infections and also to clot the blood 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 otherwise you're going to bleed out right and then fourthly is the transporter of all these things in the blood right so remember we're now only covering blood so the fourth thing in the blood is plasma and plasma is the liquid that picks all these things up and carries them out think about grounds in the bottom of a coffee cup coffee cup the only way you can get them out is pour water rinse and dump that is exactly what the plasma does it picks all the cells up and transport it with the nutri nutrients wherever it needs to go and then your last component is the heart Right. But this doesn't keep your heart racing. Stay tuned for our talks of heart to heart.